welcome y'all it's wes with diy food plot pro thank you so much for joining us today's episode we're going to talk about this stuff def can we use this for fertilizer and if so is it going to be cheaper than any of our other forms of fertilizer that we can use when picked up this jug of def def is pretty much a standard ac across the industry it's not changing from product to product they're pretty much all supposed to be the same analysis of what they are we'll get into that a little bit later on uh, i've had a few viewers reach out and they wanted to know can i use this as a fertilizer i mean there's a lot of folks running diesel pickups right now and if you run one of the newer diesel pickups you already are buying a lot of this stuff to go in your pickup truck so is this a cheap good way for us to get our nitrogen on our food plots let's dive right into it my name is wes i run the channel diy food plot pro i've got a bachelor of science in agronomy i farm for a living and i have an 1800 acre whitetail deer hunting outfitter in western kentucky where we cannot bait so we rely heavily on food plots that we produce on the channel to hunt the deer that we're blessed to hunt here in western kentucky the first thing that we have to do that i'm checking when i'm buying any fertilizer any chemical or any seed that i buy for the outfit the very first thing that i'm going to do with all of those is i'm going to look at the analysis the analysis is going to tell you a whole lot there's a whole bunch of you that have followed the page and you remember me telling you about the inert material or coating material in seeds that can be up to 34 percent there's also chemicals that will pull the active ingredient down so you, it looks like you're buying this is a better buy that you get in the store and actually this one's a better buy so the first thing we do as we look at the active ingredient and the analysis on this it says 67 percent water 32.5 percent urea urea is a form of nitrogen that's basically what def is it is a, is a form of nitrogen so we do have some nitrogen availability in this product now how much and is it more cost effective let's find out to figure out how much this two and a half gallon jug of def weighs that is important when we start figuring the math a one gallon jug of def weighs about nine pounds that puts this two and a half gallon jug at 22.5 pounds total weight 67.5 percent water 32.5 percent urea it's important to note kind of got carried away you weren't really paying attention you would think, okay, well, 32.5% of this is nitrogen. Well, it, it kind of is, but it's kind of not. It's 32.5% urea. What is urea? Urea is 46% nitrogen. Just because this is 32% urea does not necessarily mean this is 32% of the entire product is nitrogen. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I did a little quick math. That way I could, um, when I was doing all these calculations, I did a little math on this sheet. And then uh, that way I can look at this while I'm explaining this to you. Uh, approximately nine pounds per gallon. Two and a half gallon jug, 22.5 pounds of total product in here. Okay. Okay. Now you've got to break this down in your analysis. So if you broke down uh, seven 22.5 pounds and you times it by 0.325 which is 32.5% urea is a product you get 7.31 pounds of urea and you get 15 pounds of water roughly those are just rough but so essentially most of this is water you know roughly what I say a third of it is is nitrogen the rest of it is water not a problem but we, we need to know that so Okay, now, of that 7.31 pounds is urea. That's urea, okay? So now we've got to look at 46% of that gets us a full pound of nitrogen, okay? So we can't just say that's 7.31 pounds of nitrogen. It's not. That's 7.31 pounds of urea, which is 4600. 7.31 pounds 
times 0.46, which is urea, you will get 3.36 pounds of nitrogen. That's what you're gonna get out of one of these jugs. This jug cost me $21. So about $7 per pound of nitrogen. I looked at your prices of urea online. I haven't priced them yet at the farm store, but they're anywhere between $40 and $50 for a 50 pound bag of urea. With a 50 pound bag of urea, 4600, we're gonna get 23 pounds of nitrogen out of that bag. So that is considerably cheaper than using DEF to get your nitrogen fertilizer. Do I recommend using DEF? You certainly can. Um, it, not a problem at all. It's going to give you some pounds of nitrogen out there. You could certainly fertilize a, a food plot with DEF. Now it would take an awful lot if you were doing something that needed 100 pounds of nitrogen. You know, you're looking at probably putting 30 of these down. Uh, but yeah, you can certainly do that. And, and that this is a viable form to get some nitrogen to um, your food plots. If that's something that you would rather do and not broadcast urea, you could certainly use this right here. Uh, am I gonna be using it? No, I'm not going to. Uh, urea is a lot cheaper and uh, I'm gonna be sticking with urea. But this is a kind of a fun experiment that I wanted to do for a while and share with you guys kind of what this is and, and see what the analysis is and see how this stacks up price-wise. I really didn't know until I figured all the math uh, how close this would be, uh, but it's, it's, this is a pretty expensive form of nitrogen if you, if you really look at it versus a, you know, a bag of 4600. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you found the video helpful. Smash that like and subscribe button.